today. From Lumen Field in Seattle, this is the NFL on EA Sports. From the home of the 12s, they raised the banner just a moment ago. We are set for football at Lumen Field here a mile south of downtown Seattle. These folks love their football in Seattle. This was the scene a moment ago as the home squad came out of the tunnel, and it was just absolutely deafening in this building. They're set for football. So are we as the Seahawks get set to match up with the Arizona Cardinals. the kicker Jason Myers to get this one started and off we go from Seattle more now to return and he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22 Arizona Cardinals offense coming out here for the first time and you get a peek at Kyler Murray the dangerous offensive weapon now in his third season in the National Football League and when you have a guy like Kyler Murray under center and not only opens up your playbook it allows you to draw up even more plays because he's among the best dual threat quarterbacks in the league and a true playmaker. If flushed out of the pocket, he might even be more dangerous. The next step for him, being able to throw on rhythm and deliver from the pocket. Throwing on first down is Murray. Dancing to his left. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. Nothing open downfield. He keeps it himself for 11 and a first down. Man, defensively, that hurts. They got him out of his rhythm. They had him hemmed in. But somehow he was able to tuck it away and get away for a gain. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. To throw, it's Murray. Flush to his right. And he gets this one to midfield before he's brought down. Able to make something out of nothing there. 17 yards and a first down. Containing him is becoming a big problem. We've already seen this once earlier on this drive. Yeah, and so now two times this has happened, do you adjust something? Yeah, I think you do. I think you have to start thinking about your rush lanes. Try not to either get too wide or too narrow. Make sure someone is there waiting for him to take off. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Here's Murray from midfield. Rolling to his left. And just one yard here from the 49 to the 50. He was able to get away earlier in the drive, but apparently all the time they put in practice finally came to the front, didn't it? They remembered their lessons and found a way to contain him when he took off on that one. Murray's going to set up the throw. And Murray in trouble here, and down he goes. Jamal Adams on the safety blitz, too fast to handle. Well, you know it's never easy to get Kyler Murray down to the ground and to do it with a sack on their first drive. What a great tone setter defensively. Oh, and no one's celebrating more than the defensive coordinator because that's all he's preached all week long. Keep him hemmed in. Don't let him get into the open field and create big plays with his feet. To get him down in the pocket early, oh, that's got to feel great for them. Well, that last sack puts Murray in the cards in a tough spot. Third and long. Throwing 
now is Murray. On the screen, this is Edmonds. Five yards, not enough, and it'll be fourth down. So Charles, first drive here, a little safe completion underneath, maybe get some rhythm, get your feet wet, so to speak. I agree, and I like it because it's a lot like a basketball game when you're getting started and you pass the ball around so everyone touches it early and gets involved in the game. In this case, it's not just dumping it to a back and he's able to run with the ball, but you get your offensive linemen involved because they get to get out and run and hit people in the open field. Everyone getting their feet wet early. Andy on fourth down, here's Andy Leon to kick it away. And this is going to carry well into the end zone for a touchback. Here come the Seahawks in their offense now under veteran head coach Pete Carroll. They'll be led by their ninth-year quarterback out of West Virginia. It's Geno Smith. I still remember back in 2013 when he was drafted out of West Virginia, he was coming off a of back-to-back 4,000-yard seasons for the Mountaineers. Hadn't seen as much game time in recent years, but at one point, a capable starter in the NFL. Here's the first carry for Alex Collins. And he'll work this forward for about three at second down. Well, that's just a pile of bodies there, and that's when you kind of find out who's a tough guy, right? Who can stand up and make a play? It was only a three-yard run, but for both sides, they had to walk away from that feeling like, okay, I can stand up when the going gets tough in here. On second and seven, Smith. He's going to loft one deep left side here. And that's caught at the 25. And all the way in, touchdown Seattle. Freddie Swain, 77 yards. And the Seahawks on just two plays have taken the lead. Charles, there aren't really any slow receivers, but there's fast and then really fast. He's really fast, and he showed off the afterburners there. And that he is because when he took off, I was thinking there's no chance that he can actually reach him with that pass. Yet he did, and he's still sprinting. And just think about what that does for everyone else on his team because his ability to stretch a field opens things up for the rest of the receivers on the team. Extra point up and through by Myers, and it's now a 7-0 game. The quick strike ability certainly intact there. Two plays, 80 yards to score. And after the touchdown, here's Myers to boot it away. to return it. Here's more. And he'll be stopped up at the 25. So the Cardinals offense back onto the field here for their second drive of the game. And hoping to do better than they did their last possession when they punted the football. Appeal to the vanity of your offensive line. Tell them that they control your fate. Leverage guys. Win the line of scrimmage. If you do that, you start to win first down. You win second down. And guess what? You start accumulating first downs. And that's what they need in order to not punt the ball again. Murray and the Cardinals with a first and 10 at their 25-yard line. Here's Murray. That's complete to Edmonds, his running back. And they'll get it all the way up about five yards shy of midfield. Just like that, a pickup of 20 on their first play from scrimmage. Just the first quarter, but tackling going to be so important going forward. They've got to limit plays like that. And that's something when you see it happen early in the game and they don't get him on the ground, you can always tell that they were concerned about it going in. Because I can just tell you from my days, I remember being in college and worrying all offseason about our season open opponent, and they had a receiver that could shake and bake with the best of them. I tackled him on the first pass of the game. And the Murray fighting, lost the football. But fortunately, he's able to recover his own fumble, or that could have been trouble. 
Well, that was a big oops right there, but how about his ability to correct it? Loses the football, able to get it back himself. Yeah, pounced right back on it, keeps possession. The fumble on first down now. Here's second down. Shotgun now for Murray. Being chased out left. Murray has the first down and more. And down to the 27-yard line. Turns out to be a great idea to tuck that one. Good for 24 yards. Now, those are the ones that hurt defensively. You do everything right. Excellent pressure, good coverage downfield, and then he slips out the back door and turns it into a nice gain. Murray now on first down. And that one going to be off target and incomplete. They've given up a few first downs on this drive, but getting the incompletion there, that should give them something to build on and maybe turn the tide. Murray a give to Edmonds on the option. And not much of a hole there as he gets it down to about the 24-yard line. He'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. Murray now to throw. And that will be incomplete. It went with the dive look that time on defense. Just flooded the field with defensive backs. Blanketed everyone. Took away all the passing angles. Thus, the incompletion. And Prater's kick is on the money. It's good. And they are on the board, but still trailing. It's seven to three. So the three points there in CD, that helps them inch a bit closer. Yeah, partner, when you're losing, any points you see go on the board in your favor, you're happy to take them. Prater now will send it away following the main field goal. Reed going to bring it out of the end zone. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. Coming to the line here to begin their next drive, the Seahawks offense. And they're hoping to redo their efforts in the last drive when they got into the end zone. And just think of what it's like now on the sideline. Because when you score a touchdown, you have to go over and look at the tablet and see what you did on the last drive. When you score points, it's a whole lot better view than when you're trying to figure out how to fix things there. After one, seven, three, the score on EA Sports. Second and eight coming up. Now a play fake, and it's Smith. Going for Metcalf on the deep ball. And that going to be incomplete. Good effort there, trying to take a shot, but it's third down. So the failure to connect on second down, that leaves him staring up here at a third and eight. Back to throw, Smith. And that one's going to be knocked away and incomplete. And this is what you want to see from a defense. Give up an opening drive touchdown, that's fine. But how about them going back out there, recommitting themselves to the task at hand and forcing a three and out and giving the ball back to their offense. On fourth down, ready to punt, Michael Dixon. Trickeration there, but it doesn't fool this defense. Then the Cardinals will now take over with excellent field position. Now Kyler Murray ready to get back under center. His feet, what he's been able to do individually running the ball, it's kind of kept him in this game. No doubt about it, because if he's not making the plays that we've seen, they are really getting blown out in this one. I don't think they have any chance at all. He's keeping them in striking distance, hoping to get some help from the defensive side of the ball so that maybe some of these plays can turn into plays that maybe put them in the lead. 
They'll run on first down. Edmonds. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. Brandon, five yards on that run. Let's get back to the huddle and make sure if you're back, you spend time with your offensive line and give them credit. Hard to move those 300-plus pounders at the line of scrimmage, and they did for a significant chunk of yardage. The first down run got five. Here's second and five. Murray now. Tried for the tight end. Ertz, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Sidney Jones. And the Seahawks are in great shape here as they take over at their 46-yard line. That was just one of those interceptions from our perspective here. We got a good view at the 50-yard line mid-level that quarterback and receiver were not on the same page. Just by his reaction, I'm talking about the quarterback, he expected something different from his receiver, whether he expected him to break in, out, deeper, shorter. They'll determine that on the sideline. But bottom line, you could see that he thought he'd be in a different spot, except the defender was not his intended target. They'll begin the drive with Collins. And he'll get it across midfield and down into Cardinal territory. A nice run there, nine yards, and it'll be second down. First play of the drive, let's give credit all around. Excellent blocking, but a guy carrying the ball, he was the finisher. A really nice run. On second down, a run with Dallas. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. 10 yards and a Seattle first down. For a lot of guys playing this game, there's no better feeling than running right through a tackle. He's able to lower center of gravity and turn his legs for a really nice pickup. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. A give right to Collins. Takes this to the 32, maybe the 31, and then the defense rallying quickly after that broken tackle. Five yards on the carry, good pickup on first down. That's a really nice, tough run inside, and they gained five yards on it, and to be frank about it, most offenses don't expect to get five yards on a play call like that. So when they do, they go back to their huddle with a little pep in their steps. They're starting to think that they're starting to dominate the line of scrimmage. And he's brought down, but not before he reaches the eight-yard line. The keeper there turning into a big play of 23 yards, and it moves the sticks. But I tell you, there is no antidote for speed, even at the quarterback position, as he keeps it himself and turns it into good yardage. And it still takes time for a defender to react, even as quarterbacks carry the ball more and more in today's NFL. They're still a little bit in disbelief and realize, oh my goodness, he's running with the ball. He may be 8, 10, 12 yards downfield at that point. And they'll get this from the 8 to the 5. Pick up a 3. This drive is pretty clear. Almost feels like old school fundamentals, doesn't it? Want to impose their will on the defense? Was that five straight runs? Yeah, five straight carries to start this drive. And like you said, the way it's working, they may just stick with it. And he's going to press this one forward as they stop him right around the 1. Give him right around 4 on the carry. We'll see if they want to keep pounding here on 3rd and goal. They don't need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. Let's see if they do it anyway. Trying to punch it in with Collins. And he will take this one in for the Seattle touchdown. Alex Collins taking it in from a yard out. And the Seahawks find a way to stretch their lead. But they decided to run it in and got it done on third and goal. A lot of times, that's a passing play. And the kicker just has to come out for the PAT. He can breathe a sigh of relief as well, right? Although, I don't know if he's really breathing a sigh of relief. I think he likes to put three points on his ledger. Now, Myers for the extra point. And this one's right through to make it a 14-3 ball game. So that drives seven plays in length, and it ends with a one-yard touchdown run.
And after the touchdown, here's Myers to boot it away. Moore now on the return. And the tackle going to be made right there at the 25-yard line. 157 to go in this first half on EA Sports. Coming up at halftime in a little less than two minutes, we'll send you to Orlando where Jonathan Coachman is standing by. He'll have highlights and analysis of this first half. Murray's throw complete there to Moore. Cardinals got to go quickly, hustling to the line. To throw again on second down, Murray eluding the pressure right. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. First down now, but the clock continues to move. And Murray in trouble here, and down he goes. The Cardinals going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with a tick under a minute to go before half. Well, they're in some hot water now after that sack. It's second and 21. <laughs> to throw is Murray. And that one off the mark behind him, incomplete. You definitely would like to hit on that one because now you've got a third and long showing up, and you just know defense is going to be getting after it. They are pinning their ears back, and they are coming. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Edmonds going to get the handoff here on the option, and he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. Call it a gain of four, but not enough. The punt team going to need to be summoned here on fourth down. As much as I praise teams for being true to who they are, in this situation, I wonder if maybe they outguessed themselves a little bit. Third down seemed like an obvious passing situation. They chose to run it and then get anywhere close to the first down. Here's Andy Lee now, as he'll punt it away for the second time. And he didn't quite have the bag spin on that one. It hits at the four and continues into the end zone. It's a touchback. Here's the Seattle offense ready to get this drive underway. And with only nine seconds remaining, with well, not much time, we'll see how they play this. And defensively, they're just looking to keep him contained as they're able to get him down. So we are at halftime here in downtown Seattle with the Seahawks out in front. As we send you cross country to Orlando, Jonathan Coachman is there and has our EA Sports halftime report. Okay, right, Brandon. Thanks very much. And welcome in, everyone, to this slimmed down version of the EA Sports halftime report. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much, and welcome everyone to this abridged version of the EA Sports Halftime Report. This one has been a hard-hitting affair to this point, and you gotta expect we'll see more of the same in the second half. And to bring the action your way, let's get it right back out to Brandon God. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. The Seahawks with the advantage, and they get the football first as the second half is underway. This is D.J. Reed returning. And a decent return out to the 27-yard line. And the Bucs ready to go here to begin the third quarter. The drive starts with a run by Collins. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. Give him 10 yards there, and about by the nose of the football, he's going to have a first down. That was good, tough running right up the middle. And if the defense can't penetrate and make him slow his pace or change direction, that's often the end result. So 
So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Smith now to throw. That's complete to DK Metcalf. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. Looking to throw again on second down. Smith. the grab and he'll be out of bounds just shy of the 40. First target first catch and a first down. Looked like the screen pass was taken away there and that was a nice job of improvising but it's not normal. Usually when the screen pass is taken away you're taught to just throw the ball at the ground at the feet of the receiver so that you don't get it intercepted and just start over but he ended up finding another receiver. 40 yards rushing for him now to this point. Well, no matter how they phrase it, staying on schedule, staying ahead of the sticks, whatever you want to call it, seven yards on first down, that fits the bill. So they'll come up after the gain of seven on a second and three. He lets this one fly toward the back of the end zone. End zone caught. Touchdown, Seattle. Freddie Swain. Two catches, two touchdowns here so far. And the Seahawks are able to stretch that lead out a bit further. In order to lead in a game, you're going to get plenty of contributors, but that's his second touchdown catch of this game. He's one of the key guys in this one. And you better believe he'll be looking for the hat trick here as this one continues to go. The extra point now coming from Myers. And it's 21 to three. The drive summary that time, five plays. And the Seahawks capping it off with a touchdown. to boot it away. More now to return. And he won't quite make it to the 25. The Cardinals offense now ready to get their first opportunity here in the second half. And their halftime hole now even deeper. And they need a big drive here just to answer the first touchdown of the second half scored against them. They were down at the half. Now, as you mentioned, they're down a little bit bigger, but no time for discouragement. Just got to get back to it, right? Put your shoulder against the boulder and start pushing and try and get back to where you were to start the half. Murray and the Cardinals with a first and 10 at their own 24. They'll start on the ground with Edmonds. And he sneaks his way forward only for a couple here, second down. Well, they certainly haven't been able to get him going and establish the run, so I think it's time to abandon that plan and start chucking it all over the park. And you know who's excited about that? The defensive front. They got just pin their ears back and get after him now. Not much room here as he only gets it to about the 30. He'll wind up getting three on the keeper there, but it leads to a third down. Murray going to throw. And this is going to be incomplete. And we're into the second half now. This is an offense that continues to struggle to sustain a drive. Looks like they're just totally out of sync, whether they're running the ball, passing the ball like we saw there. I don't know. The rhythm seems off. Here's Andy Lee now as he's on to punt for Arizona. This is taken at about the 14. 
A nice return there of 11 to help mitigate a good punt. And it'll be Seahawk football first and 10. Seattle again getting ready to take over offensively. Good drive last time. Really effective passing the football. Do you maybe mix it up, now go to the ground game and surprise the defense a little bit? I would anticipate the defense making some changes, but I wouldn't necessarily just absolutely go in the opposite direction. They're doing so well throwing the ball. Yeah, well, I'm I wouldn't change it up until they showed me a reason to do so. Now a throw right side taken in here to start this drive. And they work this well upfield across the 45. 23 yards, the final tally. And while we may be looking at the scoreboard, this offense certainly is not because they're showing no signs of backing down, even with a three-score lead here in the third quarter. I think they keep taking their shots. They've seen blown leads happen throughout this league. They don't want to fall victim to it themselves. and that moves him back five. Now they need 15 yards on this series after the delay of game, first and 15. Out of the gun, this is Collins. 54 yards rushing for him now in the ball game. That was huge after being behind the chains on first down to make this second very manageable. Man, how much pride do you have in an offense on first down to get that kind of yardage? because it actually opens up your playbook on second down. You can run it, you can throw it, you keep a defense off balance. I like that phrase, stand ahead of the chains, and they're doing exactly that. Here's second and a yard. Throwing now is Geno. A quick target here, complete to the net. And they're gonna have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Cardinals 21. The catch and run, good for 24 yards. And that's a more than acceptable read right there because it's zone coverage, so timing is everything. This time he waits for his man to come open, puts it right on him, and they pick up a first down. They'll run on first down with Dallas. Open space inside the 10. And he'll finally be taken down at the two-yard line. This game not quite as good as the last, but still over 40 yards between the two. They're making it look easy out there. Another first down. So, so far on this drive, let me do this little bit of math here. Four plays, three first downs. That's a pretty good recipe for success. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit them, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. Now a toss coming right is Collins. And he will score. Touchdown, Seattle. Alex Collins, his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Seahawks are able to extend their lead in the final seconds of this third quarter. So the toss play effective, even down here near the goal line. Yeah, and you're hoping the defense commits too many men to stop the run in the middle of the field and that your blockers can gain a little bit of an advantage. And when they do, foot race to the pylon, and this time, he had the speed to win that race. Now Myers for the extra point. And they open the lead up now to 25 points. Five plays there on that drive. And it's culminated by a two-yard touchdown run. And after the 
touchdown. Here's Myers to boot it away. On the return, Rondell Moore will bring it out. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. Ready to go with their next drive, and at the line, the Cardinal offense. And here we are almost through three quarters of play, and this passing game still has not really found any kind of rhythm. Put it mildly, because they're not even over 100 yards yet. And in today's NFL, where it's a pass-first league, that is quite surprising. Not many teams patient enough to stick with the run. Everybody wants to advance the ball through the air. They've got to get their timing back. From up near the 40 now after the big play to start. Here's another first and 10. Right there, 54, right there, right there. Here's Murray as he sets to throw it. And that is knocked away in the middle of the field and incomplete. At this point in the game, they've got to continue to try anything they can. They're still working at it, even though this one feels like a lost cause. So line of scrimmage still the 39 on second and 10. Here's Murray. He'll bite, and he can't find the receiver, and he's brought down. And that was Carlos Dunlap who got in to take him down. We've been around this league for a while, and many coaches never pull their starting quarterback, almost no matter the situation. In this case, though, I think he's got to make a decision. He's taking a pretty good beating out there. Yeah, and with the deficit, maybe not wanting to risk an injury. Murray and the cards in a tough spot. Third and long. Now Murray. On the right side, caught by Green. And he is going to have a Cardinals first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Well, this game is certainly pretty well over. They can go ahead and mark it in the win column. But as a defense, they don't want to get so soft now that everybody just throws the ball all over the place against them, gets big yardage, and puts points on the board. They have pride, too, on that side of the ball. Two first downs have him up near midfield now on first and ten. I got it. From the gun, Murray toward the center of the field, but it's incomplete. Now the trials and tribulations of being a quarterback in this league, it's tough. It's got to be wearing on him out there. Well, he has been sacked a number of times. He had an interception, so I'm going to give him a skosh of credit for hanging in there and trying to make something happen, despite the amount of pressure he's been under this entire game. To throw again on second down. Murray, they'll roll him out right. Murray has it knocked loose, fumble. But I think a Cardinal was able to gain possession, yes. So they will hold on to the ball. Much like a running back going through the line, quarterbacks have to be aware of protecting the football as well. He left it exposed that time, wound up having it knocked free, but fortunately, had an alert teammate who was able to get it. So possession still theirs, but now they face a third down. Looking to throw. Murray. Murray fighting. Lost the football. And the Seahawks have picked it up. And they'll take over inside the 45 at the 44-yard line. And with that kind of a deficit, you can't afford to make any kind of mistakes. But it's been pretty symptomatic of what we've seen all game with them, isn't it? Down, Same. down this big in the fourth quarter. Yeah, you'd quarter. say an afternoon to forget, absolutely. The Seattle offense now set to come back out on the field. And they have to be feeling pretty good. Comfortable fourth quarter lead as they take over following the fumble recovery. From the shotgun, this will be Dallas. 
And he's taken down inside the 30. 49 yards rushing for him now. And he's only carried the ball four times. The running game continues to be a big part of their success here early in the fourth quarter. And with those types of runs, that tells you they feel very confident in their running game. They feel very strong at this stage of the contest. And they want to keep doing exactly what we saw there, running the ball down their throat. down run with Collins and inside the 20 before he's brought down first down Seattle on a pickup of 13 we use the word relentless a lot with guys who are aggressive on the field in this case it really fits doesn't it how about his ability to break tackles and his feet never stop moving Back-to-back good plays have them on the move on first down. Now Smith. This is caught and stopped a few yards shy of the goal line at the three. 13-yard gain yet again, just like last play. Carter, I have to tell you, just one word keeps coming to mind from watching them this afternoon, and that's impressive. They have been impressive from the opening kickoff, and they haven't let up here even into the fourth quarter. They'll try to run it in, go on option right. And he'll go backwards, losing yardage to the five. Now that sends him two yards in the wrong direction and leads to second down. He kept it in his hands and tried to push it across the goal line himself, but the defensive front wouldn't allow him to do so, bringing up second down and a bit farther. Collins now the lone man in the backfield, second and goal. He's going to get it running right. And he will get into the end zone. It's another touchdown. This thing is ugly. Is here. We can see all of the writers to our left, and their post-game stories, Charles, they have been filed for some time because this game, boy, is it lopsided. Yeah, we can see our guy Scoop. He's even got his fedora tipped over his face. I think he's taking a nap now. Nothing left to write for him, but how gratifying has it been for them to see what they've done in practice and carry it into a game and see the execution be so good. They've got to feel fantastic about what they've accomplished in this one. The extra point now coming from Myers. And he's been a busy man, five for five now as he knocks another one through to extend the lead. So that drive spanned five plays and it's finished off with a five yard touchdown run. Touchdown, here's Myers to boot it away. And no run back here for Moore. It's a touchback, and it'll come out to the 25. The Cardinal offense takes back over. And they had the fumble last time that led to a touchdown. That's a no-no. We'll see what they do here this go around. A big no-no. Put that in capital letters. Turning it over, the other team takes it down and scores. That can be a deflator for a football team. Now it's up to the offense to get back out on the field and pick things up. You know, they're out there. We'll see if they can pick those things back up. Murray and the Cardinals with a first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. Throwing to start the drive. Murray. That's out to the flat for Edmonds. 
And he'll be brought down right at the 30 here. Ball on the 30. They'll come up with a second and five. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So the Cardinals, they've got the football here as we get you reset. They're looking at second down now as they search for a consolation score. From the 30 on second down, Murray. Oh, not sure he saw the linebacker there as that's batted down and incomplete. This has been a rough one to put it mildly for him, but after this one's done, you just feel like at the post-game press conference, this team's going to have a lot of questions and definitely not a lot of answers. They come up now third and five following the incomplete pass. Back to throw, Murray. And that is incomplete. At this point, down big, you'd have to imagine this defense are just going to sit back, blanket the field as best they can. Yeah, this is actually the easy part of the game for them because, just as you noted, they can sit back, keep everything in front of them. But they've blanketed the field the entire game using a variety of coverages. Here's Andy Lee now. He's been one of their few bright spots so far. This is away and a very good kick angled for the sidelines. And this will carry out of bounds. Where are they going to spot it now? At about the 18-yard line, it looks like. Yeah, we will get another look at Seattle's offense. And a few kneel downs should just about do it. Now, defensively, they do have all three timeouts, but very little reason to use them at this point. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. He didn't seem in a rush. I guess they just didn't know where the play clock was. I think you're right about that because there was no hurry movements there, right? No up-tempo at all. Clock just ran out. I think he was as surprised as maybe his bench was. The delay of game backs him up five, first and 15. Out of the gun, handoff to Dallas. And he'll use his blockers to get this up over the 20 to the 21. 57 yards on the ground for him so far. Well, they'll take that every time with a lead, first down, fourth quarter, getting eight yards. He loved that. They will take it. And you have to ask the defensive guys, why did you give it? I mean, you know the situation. You're down. Have to stop them. Have to get the football back. But eight yards on first down puts them back on their heels. signal for a timeout, so they must have not been aware of the numbers. I think he lost track of the time left in the play clock and probably was trying to read the defense and trying to figure out which play to run and just lost track and it cost him. And not a whole lot to speak of there as they'll bring him down shy of the 20. It's a gain of maybe three, but it's going to leave him with still about eight or nine to go on third down. That's it. That's what you want. Straight ahead positive gain. Just keep that clock ticking. The cards going nickel. An extra defensive back out there now on third down. They go again with Collins. 
And his bid for the first down coming up short as he's tackled at the 25. That'll be good for six, but now it's fourth down. Frustrating for a defense, energizing for an offense. Finding a way to create that type of yardage in your running game, that'll make the guys carrying the ball very, very happy. So the victory here for Seattle, and they were buoyed, Charles, by a big second half to put this one on ice. And I know a lot of people watching this one were thinking to themselves, I'll bet halftime was really interesting. Probably took the paint off the walls with some of the words that were said, but I get the sense it was much more of the adjustments they made. They came in with a game plan that we saw that didn't work in the first half. They made the adjustments necessary, went away from that, and then they got it together got a spark, and then took off. It's really nice to watch in the second half. So that'll do it for us, for my partner, Charles Davis, and all the hard-working men and women on our crew. I'm Brandon Gaunt. You've been watching the NFL right here on EA Sports. It's a win for the Seahawks here as we say so long from Seattle.